if you've been with me for a while, you'll know that the sock accomplishment was real. I threw two socks away, and all those socks are up in their bucket. That took me like a week to get all their socks put back away. Very unusual for me. Hi, friends. My dad is here. He's in the other room, but he doesn't like the camera. Unless he's making peanut brittle. But, laundry. I gotta get laundry back in check. So we're gonna start our day that way. But first, I gotta take Ashley to the bus, and all the other kids are getting up because it's late start. And then my dad and I are going to a funeral because that's why he's here. His cousin's husband passed away, so. It's been a while since I've come with you to the bus stop with the camera. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> You're gonna have a good day? Today I am eating a lot earlier than I normally do because we have a long day and I don't know when I'm going to be able to eat. So we're starting early instead of waiting. Also, I don't know which one of my kids changed my, <laughs> my icon. I have a tennis ball instead of my photo. I have no idea how they changed it because they don't even know my password. Also, just a bit of fun, I have my last list in my notebook here. I'm finishing off that list, but then I have made a new one for January. Look how cute. I have some new stickers, so I can't wait to like, I like a new fresh list, especially at the beginning of the year. And if I was really OCD, I would have gotten a new notebook, but I still have, <laughs> this notebook still has enough pages. I would have loved to have started a new notebook at the beginning of the year, but we will utilize this one and finish this list before I move on. All right, I am dressed for the funeral. Can I work on a computer for two seconds? And then I'm gonna go with my dad. It's just gonna take up enough of my day. You'll have seen now that Jason scared me. Actually, Jason didn't. Kaylee and Jacob did, and that's the video I'm editing. <laughs> I cannot believe I have to relive this. I have to edit this and, like, you know, watch this whole process play over and over and over again. And uh, it's a little embarrassing. Um, anyway, and I have to pay credit card bills. I also made this cute little notebook. You see that? And it has my little... Let's see. Oh, that one didn't print. I have to take that one out. It has my little YouTube checklist in it. And I have to take it to... This is what I've been working on. Is I have I had to print out separate copies. Because for whatever reason, I didn't print 52 pages for 52 weeks last year. This is my notebook. And I get it bound at the office store. And I have a little plastic sheet cover and then a black page and then the spiral bound. I have that made, but um, I didn't add or I took out messed up or something, but I didn't have extra weeks. So I've been working off of that list like that, but I have finally printed out a new version of it and I'm going to make a little, little title page on that. But I need to take that to staples in a diff different city because we don't have an office office depot here anymore isn't that fantastic what else i'm working on that's a credit card bill so i have to go relive this little uh scare moment that they've been working on <laughs> they've been working to get me for so long all right a couple hours later the funeral was nice um my dad got to talk to a lot of his cousins and um, people that, anyway, knew her. And uh, he was glad that I went with him. Kind of nice too. Um, but, headed off to get Ashley now. She has her, what do you call it? Recess coach training. <laughs> She's a recess coach. So cute. Um, but I wanted to chat with you guys just for a sm smidgen without really going into a ton of details um, just because it's kind of private and it's a little unknown. But um, we are still working with Ashley 
on her therapy and um, a clinical diagnosis now of anxiety um, and what all that means, but also trying to figure out the eating thing. Um, her therapist, I don't know, we might have made headway. Um, uh, it's hard. Um, all of my stress these days revolves around this and that's fine. I don't love her less because it causes me stress, but the anxiety attacks, the meltdowns, the worry, the... Anyway, um, it's really what gets me, like, you know, it's, it's what gets me. I can get her through it. I can um, step away when I can. Sometimes I can't. Um, I'm not going to leave the other kids in charge of her when she's like that, so I have to stick around and kind of send them out of the house, but it's occupied my mind and my time quite a bit lately, um, and yesterday we knew, everyone knew, my kids knew, her therapist knew, Jason knew, my dad knew that her going back to school, actually going back to school yesterday for the first time after winter break, causes her high anxiety um, after having a lot of time off. And it was a whopper. It was a whopper of a, of a morning. I went into it with the right mindset. Went, we went through it. <laughs> it was a process. If you're ever going through this as a parent or your kids are going through this with their kids, keep going through it with them. I, I chat a lot with you, a lot of you here. Um, some of you have had it harder than others um, with your kids or yourself. Anxiety, depression, whatever the case may be. Keep going through it, keep getting help. Um, you know, I, I talk to my dad a lot about all this um, on the phone before he came here. I had to kind of give him, he knows everything that's going on, but I was kind of giving him a preface of, you know what, I was kind of worried about Ashley going back to school and him being in the home and I didn't want her to feel uncomfortable with him being in the home and worrying and, but I talk a lot about this concept of getting children help. Um, he's a pediatrician by trade. He's retired technically and has his own business, but he's creating um, products to help babies. He ultimately wants to cure SIDS goal. It's always been his goal. He loves babies. I don't know why I get emotional about that. My dad loves babies. He loves children and that's why he had eight of them. But, and that's why I turn to him often. Um, but I had a, a good conversation with him this morning before we went to the funeral and, and he said, you're being a good advocate for her because back when he had a practice, he's like, we didn't have access to like child therapists and we didn't understand child medications for mental illness. We didn't understand how to help them. We didn't, you know, all that kind of stuff. He's like, you're doing the right thing. I'm just amazed that you're getting the extra help. You know, it, it, and he's like, it's hard, but don't, don't fall into this stigma of, oh, she, I don't want to talk about her being in therapy or he's like, no, be the advocate. Talk about it. And I talk about it all the time with my friends and, oh, maybe I should think about getting my kid into therapy and yeah, they've got some things that I could probably get them help for. And if anything, the hard times that we're kind of going through is helping me and others around me, like not not worry about the stigma of getting mental help. Help, mental health, help. You know, Ashley's thing that she always says to me, she's like, my mind doesn't matter. My mind doesn't matter. Doctors that help my mind don't actually, they're not actually doctors. That's her biggest thing. He's not an actual doctor. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it's just her resistance to it, but um, and I'm not throwing her under the bus by any means, she's nine. But I know adults who think that mental health doctors are not actually doctors and not actually there to help you. If you're one of those and you need help, go get help. I just, anyway, I say that all because um, we aren't doing Ashley's therapy today 
normally I would rush to get her home and we would do a therapy call. It's Wednesday, but um, we've agreed to do it on a day where she's not home. We're kind of coming up with a whole new game plan and yeah, a game plan. Future. What do we do? How do we go forward? How do we get help? How do we diagnose? What is the diagnosis kind of a thing? Honestly, this is, it's encompassing my entire world, aside from all the errands and running and holidays and all that kind of stuff. It encompasses my mind so much. Um, and it's not an easy fix, but I'm going through it with her and I'm just gonna keep being the advocate for her and hope that we can help. Um, and my dad's like, you're setting her up for a very healthy teenage years and a very adult, a very healthy adult life. And that's my main goal. Just want her to be healthy. So if you or you know someone who needs mental health help, get it. Just go for it. You can't be hurt by getting help, you know? And these days, I think we, you know, learning to not hold it all in. As moms, as kids, as parents, as whatever. Don't hold it in, just go get the help. Side note, I got my nails done yesterday. Yes, you can barely see, it's a pinky color. You guys, I am in love with this, especially like in January. Um, also, my nails or my skin is really dry and I don't really understand what's causing it. Um, it was dry before my appointment and anyway, so, but I am loving this. It's a pink dip that I did, but then you can kind of see the white nail of my regular nail underneath and I'm kind of thinking I'm digging that. I don't like to see my nail, but I'm liking to have like the, the white on the ends, but not a full French tip. So I'm gonna see next time I get them refilled. It'll be around my birthday. Um, I'm gonna see if she can do like an ombre white. Like, so just barely dip um, white on the tip and then ombre it into the pink back here. I just think that would be so pretty. Um, and I just like that they look fresh and they're clean and they're, you know, I just, I like the look of it. And um, I'm very excited that I got these ones. I'm just sitting here waiting for Ashley. She has two minutes until she's out of her recess coach meeting. Anyway, I think she's going to have a way better day today because she didn't have therapy. And she knew it ahead of time. We had an excellent conversation last night, her and I did, about choices and how mom has no non-negotiables. And some of the non-negotiables are school, therapy, church, and being respectful. <laughs> how many of you can relate? So those non-negotiables. Um, and then her others are choices. Choices of bus or get a ride. Food or no food. So anyway, I'm just, you know, I might take her and get her a smoothie since we know the smoothie machine is open. I am not getting her a slushy. <laughs> she doesn't need that extra sugar. Somehow it doesn't, this, the smoothie doesn't have as much sugar in it. She doesn't react as much. Um, but she does have cheer tonight. Um, my dad is at home, by the way. He discovered Netflix <laughs> on the TV by the couch where he's sleeping. And he's like, ooh, fantastic. Give me the remote. So he's just resting. Um, he didn't need to hop in the car with me. But um, Ashley does have cheerleading tonight. So she's going to go and do that. And I'm trying to decide if I want to walk at the community center while she's there. It might just depend on what my dad wants to do or how my energy level is. I have not walked since Friday. It is now Wednesday. It's the worst I have done. You guys, I have done so well during the holidays. Side note, new low on my weight. You guys, I have dropped weight. Not drastically, but I have dropped weight and had new lows almost every single week through the freaking holidays. <laughs> like, dude, that's amazing. Anyway, my sister is in Costa Rica right now and she's on her delayed honeymoon. And I, I Marco poloed her the other day and I was like, I know you're on your honeymoon, but I, I'm at a new low. <laughs> I need to like tell someone about it. Oh, there's someone. 
There's someone trying to get in my car. Hi, Pook. Hi. You can't sit up here. I know. You're just going to climb in? You're so cute. I have to get this McKenna. She wasn't here, did I? Are they not back then? No, they are. She's just she sick. just didn't come? She's sick. Our friends went to the Big Island, and I was like, no, you need to Maui. come back. No, they went to the Big Island. Yeah. So, okay. I asked her mom. Her mom's sister got married. Uh, Go back there. So this is one for you and one for her. Mm -hmm. So she's sick. Okay. She's yes. in recess coaching with Ashley. Her friend yeah. is. Buckle, do you want a smoothie? Yeah. Okay. Grandpa's at home watching Netflix, so... You have a minute. <laughs> and she's not doing tumbling, right? Yeah. But if they, the if they want you to do it, we're going to sign up for because it. Because I'm in back handspring group, and the cheer coach doesn't know back handsprings, but the only tumbling ones. And I think she wants to get my handspring done. you get you trained on it better. Yeah. Yeah. Buckle? Someone took eight Buckle. years. Buckle. I'm still in the parking lot. Buckle. Okay. There. Okay. All right. So if the coach wants her to still do tumbling, we'll sign that up. But tonight, we're just gonna go for your cheer. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm in the morning announcement. You are? Yeah. What is it for? Um, we're just telling the kids that we're in the morning announcements, like their coaches. Oh, how cute. Yeah. That's fun. This little squirt blew her little straw and it's like static clinging to the front of my now I broke the static, but it like was stuck to the front little panel. Sitting outside of Ashley's class. I think I just missed it. But since she's done this class before, her little squad that's already done it got to show all these new kids. All the new kids are kind of standing against the wall right there. And uh, Ashley got to show them how the routine goes. It was really cute. They just did a little bit of it. And uh, I'm trying to think if I can find where Ashley is again. There she is. Oh, she's uh, hiding behind that. There she is, right there in that doorway. That's her. She's so cute. She just, she's a quick learner with these routines and She's starting to get just that attitude and the hip pop and the, you know, the finger pointing if she's needing to like, you know, she's getting the small details and she's just, I love that she found this. I'm excited to do another session of this. Um, they've got a couple practices to do and then they get to play at a UW men's basketball game. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> We're all like excited. Abby has already put in a request for work to get that day off work um, so that she can go to the game with us. Um, everyone's very excited about it. So we'll obviously definitely take you along for it, but it's fun that she has this because I think this is, especially right now as we're going through all this stuff with her and exploring therapy and getting her help and stuff this outlet for her physical a men mental emotional um uh social all of it is so important for her to have right now um when she's having struggles in other areas of her life so that was like done this is like one session of therapy <laughs> in terms of the cost of doing this class so it's like well insurance is covering therapy cost but in terms of the cost of this class, it would be the equivalent of one therapy session. <laughs> she gets weeks and weeks of practice and fun and it's definitely worth it. So I'm gonna sign off with you. I left my dad home alone <laughs> with the other kids and I got him dinner and um, Jason ended up getting a call from his dad when he was halfway home from work. Jason's tired, he's mildly crabby. Um, tired he's definitely tired but his dad's power went out and he was too sick we know what he's sick with there's no hiding it he's gotten it for the first time in all of this um he got it in cuba just got home from cuba so he got it in cuba and brought it home um but he was too sick to hook up his generator to his fridge and a light um so jason had to stop at his dad's house and get that all hooked up from the garage. 
He's like, I ain't coming in your house. You stay in the house. I'll hook up your generator. Um, I'll hand you the power core through the door and then you can come to the door after I leave the garage. He's like, I am not coming anywhere near you. So that's why I haven't seen Jason yet today. And I just stayed down here because I ended up having to take my car instead of his car. Um, so I don't want to waste the gas. And drive all the way home and then come all the way back. So that's the ditty. Um, Kaylee was funny today. She got to go and put gas in her car for the first time. Not her car, our car. But she put gas in the car for the first time tonight. Um, she took my card and paid for the gas with our money. But we've told her, this is, this is your last tank of gas on us. <laughs> you have a job now, you're paying for that gas. And luckily she gets 44 miles to the gallon in that car because it's a hybrid. Um, and I said, you make that tank of gas last you a really long time because the next one's on you because you'll have a paycheck by the time you need gas again. She's like, okay. Um, also, quick tidbit, she got into her first college. She applied the other day and she got in. I don't know if she wants to say what ones she got into or if she wants to make a separate video about that. She's applying to a few more schools tonight with Jacob. Um, she was really encouraged by that. Um, so I don't know how she's going to come up with the money to go to school because it's my mentality she pays for it. Mama doesn't pay for college. I paid for my schooling 100%. And I understand Jason's big thing is like I lived at home. Yeah, I lived at home and she has a chance of going to school and living at home and not having to pay for housing and food, um, but she's choosing not to do so. So when you make that kind of a choice, you get to pay for it. So she's going to have a very long summer of very long hours and maybe even multiple jobs if she really truly wants to move out next fall and go to a school away from home. So I will let her share news of any other colleges she gets into. We'll do that in a separate video if she chooses to. I think she's trying to document her senior year. So I think she wants to do a dedicated, like, you know, conversation about what school she applied to and got into. So we shall see. But for now, I have 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I have enjoyed TikTok for um, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. I'm going to put it down. We're going to start this. Actually, I've already started it. We're going to read this instead. We're going to get off of our device. I might even read this book tonight instead of getting on my device. Um, so take care, you guys. This is long. Now I have to edit all this. <laughs> I've already edited the video up to this point. Um, I was hoping to just add a short clip and call it good, but you know what? I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to put it in. You guys got the whole thing unedited, but I know you appreciate it. So take care and we'll see you guys next time. Ashley, tell everyone what you just told me. So we do like this um, uh, cheer thing where we go against each other to see who knows the like dance more. And normally we have to do two times, but the te teacher said that she only had to do it once because there was a clear winner. And I was a clear winner. You are amazing! <laughs> High five! That is so amazing. Good job, kiddo. You're really good at it. It's just That's what I was just telling learn. them. Is that you're? Yeah, but a lot of kids don't learn how to learn that fast. <laughs> I so, already know the whole dance. Yeah, but the, the other one. kids who have done it the same no, like the new one. We learned it just now, and I already know it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. You're good at learning this kind of stuff. This is your. You found your thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. So congratulations, kiddo. Mm -hmm. You're, this little soul. And in four weeks, we'll go and put, perform, right? Yeah. And then they get to do two dances instead of just one? Yeah, well, yeah. That's fun. Good job, kiddo. Except for just really tiring. Say goodbye to everyone. Bye.